In this video, guys, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and walk you through the logo design process that myself and my team go through when we are creating brand identities for our clients. Come on, let's, let's take a peek. Hey, what's going on guys? Henry Kaminsky here from uniquedesigns.net with another behind the scenes video on how we develop our brand identities for our clients. So first things first, guys, before you put the cart before the horse, you gotta make sure that you do your diligence prior to getting into any brand identity. The issue that I see a lot is people wanna get into the sexy stuff before they go into, uh, before they do the research and the in-depth foundational work that needs to be done in order to create a phenomenal brand identity that's going to resonate and connect with your target audience. So what we do is go through a very thorough uh, discovery process with our clients. I'm gonna walk you through uh, a real quick high level view of what that looks like. So here is a uh, partial summary and insights document that I pulled out that is I'm gonna showcase the user profile, the ideal client that this particular client is um, wanting to work with. And so we named him uh, Henry Smith and he's the agency partner. And he is a uh, agency owner of a digital marketing company uh, that are my, my client wants to work with and target as a ideal client. So this is sort of the image board that we create to get an idea of what Henry Smith looks like. So he's into Rolex watches, um, he dresses well, he's into posh and trendy, you know, restaurants. Um, so you get a good feel. He's a family man, you know, beautiful wife. He's got his cute daughter, right? So we, we got a visual on, on Henry Smith. And then we go into the demo and psychographics. We go into challenges and obstacles. We go into customer journey. You know, how did they find out about my clients? What made them engage? What makes them come back? Uh, what is the values and beliefs behind their uh, buying decision? And then we go into defining the brand. So these are the brand attributes of this particular client, okay? So we go into the culture. How would your community describe you? So what would his ideal client describe his business as, right? What's the look and the feel? What do we need to look like to attract our customers, okay? What's our features and benefits? What can we do to make our customers' lives better, right? What's the voice and tone of our client? Uh, I'm sorry, what's the voice and tone of our brand? So how do we need to sound? How do we need to sound to our clients in order for them to resonate? And then last but not least, what makes us different? How are we different from our competitors? What makes us so special? Okay, so here's some of the attributes that we created when I was working in the discovery phase with my client, okay? So then from there, my team and I go back to the design lab and we start to come up with logo concepts, okay? So here is one concept that we created for this particular brand. So we, this is how we showcase our logo designs as well. So <clears throat> we do it on a white background, we do it black and white, and then we get into the color scheme um, that we've created inside of the stylescape. And, and that's another video, I don't wanna get you confused with stylescapes right now, um, but this is how we would potentially use this logo and application, so business cards and cool envelopes, and letterhead, right? Then we have another cool business card, perhaps. And then we have like a clock, some cool envelopes. And then because this particular brand is a software as a service, we wanna show application that the logo would actually be used on or with. And so here's a mobile phone. So this may be logging into the software or the application. And so we have the logo here on the bottom, just really crisp looking. Then we show some applications on digital uh, devices. 
And then we show a large format view of what the logo may look like. And then we finish it off with just a clean white background. And so that's concept number one. Another concept here, which is my personal favorite. And so we go through the same process. So we give the client an idea of how the logo would be used in application. Just gives a, the client a better feel, right? For how the logo is going to be interacting with other elements. So here's what it would look like on a mobile phone and then the laptops and perhaps home pages of websites. And then here's the large format. The one thing I love about this logo is that we could pull this P out from the logo and actually use it as an icon. And that gives the logo some real dynamic um, attribute and really helps it uh, really stand the, the test of time and how it's going to be functional once we go to market, right? And then, so here you go. So this is just a quick little snapshot of what we do behind the scenes when we're developing brand identities for our clients. So it's not just going to, you know, 99 designs and getting uh, 150, 1000 logos thrown at you, you know, and, and you pick which one resonates best with you. You know, we, you really got to keep in mind here, what's going to resonate with your ideal client, because if they don't resonate with your logo, then you don't have a business. You don't have attention and you have the profits. So you will never be able to grow the business if you're not keeping your ideal client in mind every time you go to put out, whether it be a message or any sort of um, marketing collateral. So this goes from marketing and sales funnels to website uh, to social media posts. I mean, so keeping your client in mind at all times, you know, will this resonate with fill in the blank with the user profile's name, right? Does this uh, post or does this ad stay on brand with my brand's attributes? Right. And so what are your brand's attributes? You know, we go through that process in the brand accelerator program. So anyway, just wanted to give you a snapshot here of what it looks like behind the scenes when it comes to developing brand identities here at Unique Designs. So got questions? Drop them in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, hit that little subscribe button if you find this content valuable. Uh, I'm here to help you design and build your personal brands to help you scale your pro process and systems to help you scale your profits. And so with that said, there's a lot of marketing strategy that goes along with great brand identity. So in future videos, and God, we almost have like a thousand videos now up on our channel, go check out some of the content here. I'm sure you're going to get value out of it because at the same time as we show you the design aspects of the business, I go into a lot of mindset, a lot of strategy, uh, and a lot of processes and systems um, that help me scale my, my agency to a level that it's at right now, you know, doing close to hundred grand a month in revenue. So, you know, if you wanna learn how to do that, stay tuned because I will share my journey as I continue my, my, pro, my process uh, in the entrepreneurial space and in the branding space. So hope you got some value out of this, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.